Well, welcome back to the Steve Rob Show. Today, a little bit of an update on this deck building stuff going on, like this uh, little kind of a garden shed I'm building. Guys, it's all on hold. The whole thing is on hold. Um, I got myself a small little job to do. Well, it's quite a big job. And the owner does not want me to film anything in his place. But I can't keep building in the backyard on this uh, garden shed and I might have to put it off till the following spring. So I'm glad I did get that pressure treated uh, plywood and I'll show you what I do when I have to leave a project over from one season to the next. But I just wanted to show you exactly how much it costs. Now it's not going to include this paint. I got two uh, gallons of uh, paint here. And this one's got about this much in it, and this one's got about maybe this much. Well, maybe this much. And I'll just show you on the sticks here. They're pretty close in color, and I'm just going to put them together and slap her on. Now, uh, when I first started, I had this much in this can. And I put one coat on the deck, just the top of the plywood. And uh, I'll show you what I do with my roller, I'm not too sure if you guys do this or not, but what I do with my roller, I don't clean it. And uh, yeah, I don't clean it, so. <laughs> okay, but well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these two cans together and then I'm gonna paint it out there. But I just wanted to show you the total price, $542.29. 500 and almost 50 bucks. Well, it would be more than $550 when you include the price of this paint, but this price, this paint was left over from uh, a long time ago. So, okay. So, that is the price. Now, it's amazing how much money you can spend on just 8x12 platform. And, uh, you know, I figure this is probably going to end up costing me $2,000 by the time I'm finished. And I'm glad I'm going to put this project off till next year. I'm going to show you what I do next with the uh, paint brushes. I'm not too sure if you guys do this or not, but I do this all the time. And it may be a nice little bit of a tip for you guys in the future too, whether it's an outdoor painting project or inside your house or that kind of stuff. So uh, let's get to that next. Okay, here we are guys. I'm in the backyard. And for you that have been following the channel a long time, this is where I store my ice blocks. Yeah, there's a freezer in here. This is where I store my ice blocks for going up north. I'll show you what I'm doing here. There you go, guys. That's what you do. Well, that's it, guys. That's all you do. You just put it in your freezer overnight. And here it is here, all nice and frosty. But you know what? I'll leave this out for about a half an hour. It'll get all gooey again. And then I can paint that. I'll bring you back when I've got it all painted. And I'll show you. So hold on for that. Okay, I'm back. Here's the roller. She's all goobered up. And guys, I have enough left over to do one more coat on the top. So I'm just going to take this, put it in a bag, and freeze it again till tomorrow. And then tomorrow, I'll put another coat on. So let's go out there. Let's take a look and see how it uh, turned out. Well, there she is, guys. Don't look too bad. And I don't mind the color of them two together. Looks pretty good to me, I would say. And uh, we'll... Uh, We'll see what it looks like in the spring. Okay guys, well I hope you like that. Um, sorry about putting off the uh, the shed build for a bit, unless something changes, but uh, yeah. Now I'll tell you something. Uh, when I built my shower room up at the camp, it's the exact same size, eight by 12, and I just used regular transparent or semi-transparent deck stain. And uh, I left it over the winter, but I made a mistake. What I did was, I put some six mil plastic over top and some uh, blocks on top so that the weather wouldn't get to it. Huge mistake guys. Uh, I think uh, the uh, stain saved it, but in the springtime when I got up there, the underside of the uh, six mil plastic was soaking wet. I guess it was soaking wet from the time that uh, I left until I arrived in the springtime. So I'm not going to cover that up. Um, I'm just going to leave it like that and we'll come back in the next time and we'll take a look and we'll see how it, uh, how it weathered. 
So thanks for joining in. If you haven't seen this channel before, you're quite welcome to subscribe. Come back again, guys. Let's have some more fun. Cheers.